In this video, I'll be giving you a quick overview on how to use a three-facing leg grinder. As you can see on the plug, we've turned it the right way around. The top two pins to phase inverter plug for the direction of the motor. Specifically, if you're using PCDs on a plate. Check the rotation, plug it in, turn it on, check the rotation. If it's the right way, you don't need to mess about with it. If it isn't, unplug it, turn the pins, plug it back in, you'll be going the other way. To direct online machine, make sure the stop's out, and then you just press the start button here. Now, as you can see, the machine's on a stand at the minute. You've got your stand lever here, brings it back, and then you can start grinding. Just put it back on the stand for a minute. So, when you've been using this machine, always have it on the stand when you've finished grinding. Now, I'll show you why in a minute. But, what it does is it, the coupling is rubber. So, once you've stopped using it, it's warm. If you leave it resting on the plate, the rubber has memory. So it'll sit like that rather than flat. So the machine comes with an Allen key. It will be sat roughly somewhere here or the other side. And we'll show you now. Here's where you'll be putting the plate on. So we've got reasonably okay plates, been used for testing. But you've got four bolts. You stick your plate on. You've got a little piece on the head, makes the plate sit on so you can get your bolts in. Then here's your Allen key that you'll be using. Just tighten these up. I'll just be showing you with two today. I'm not actually load testing this. You will have all four in. Now your head's attached. You do have a skirt with this machine. Best thing to do is while it's on its back, Use the lever to take the stand back, or just push it back manually. Throw your skirt on. Get it so it's just, just past the, uh, just past the plate, and then you'll have good suction with your vac. So, for, if for any reason when you're grinding with this machine, and you start to get excessive vibrating, it's going to be down to one of two things. It will be down to the rubber coupling here, which may have split, or you may have rested it on its head without, without the stand, or I'll show you the warm plate. So this one's pretty even all the way around, whereas this one, you've got large segments this side, and then you have worn down segments this side. Now, you've got uneven weight distribution with this plate. So as you can imagine, that's spinning on there. It's gonna be rattling round. You need even weight distribution for it to work effectively. Now, if that does happen and you start getting that excessive vibration, either change the plate or check your coupling. Now you can do that just by spinning the head manually. You'll see if there's any movement whatsoever. Now, on this machine in particular, there's no movement whatsoever. It's completely flat. So if you've got a good plate, you're good to go. If not, change the plate. If it's the coupling and you have got movement in the head, excessive movement, call the office and we'll get the machine swapped over. If for any reason we haven't got another machine to swap it over with, 
we can get it repaired pretty quickly. So have a fast turnaround, you can take the machine back and away you go again. And that's how the machine should be sitting when you're not using it. Plate won't touch the floor, it's off the ground. Happy days. And that's it for the single leg grinder.